Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so it's another 3D printing video, and what I'm going to show is how to do one of the sliding vase twisting things um, that this fella recently did in YouTube, Make Anything 3D Printing Channel, which we all thought was amazing, I'm sure. And I even saw Makers Muse, uh, Angus from there, try and do it at Fusion 360, he wasn't able to do it. So I did figure out the way to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is delete this and we'll start from the beginning and I'll show you. So I'm going to delete that. In fact, let me do a whole new design. Okay, so first off, i um, just going to do a quick sketch and do a polygon. So let's just do it in the middle. Now what I want to do is quite a thin one and maybe you can drop it into it and it goes all the way through and comes out the other end, which I thought would be quite cool rather than having it solid on one end. Now, a nice thin one I think would be quite cool, as long as it doesn't fall over on the print bed. Um, now I'm thinking the Prusa A3 Mark II, which I have, I'm not sure of the actual Z height. It might be around 180-ish or something. So I'm going to stick on the safe side and, and extrude it to 175 when I do it. Um, but I want it, say, a fifth of the height, uh, roughly about that. So let's make it about 35mm altogether. So if I make it to, um, let's see, if I can make it to 15mm here then it will obviously be 30 millimeters overall. Okay, so we know that was 30. Now to create another one, we'll do it in the middle, and the best way to make sure we get it centered is bring it over here into that corner, so we know that is directly, the points are gonna be directly in the center of the other lines, and then we'll type in the measurement we had before, which was 15, and then boom, there we go. So now if we press T for trim, I can just get rid of these inner lines, neaten it up slightly. Three, two, one. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, so I'm going to stop the sketch there. Um, now, I think, I'm guessing, if you wanted to do it the other way, you could do an offset, and then you could extrude both amounts. Um, but then you'd have to make sure you twisted them the right amount and everything, and I'm just not sure I would do that correctly, unless you typed in a figure. But for now, I'm going to try it my way, and we'll see. So, I'm going to go to Create, uh, sorry, go to Create Form. So now we enter the Sculpt Environment, Create, and go to Extrude. Now, you could click on the, the face, the plane here, and then that would extrude the whole body. But I'm going to choose just the line, because I want to try something different. So I'm going to click that, and it has what I already had before, so it's got 170 millimeters higher. Um, so I'm going to leave that as it is, actually. Um, and I'm just going to click OK. Okay, so now what I want to do is we uh, try and remember I want a uh, laptop with a touchpad here, and uh, haven't we got any shortcuts that I can do without a middle mouse button? Unless there's something I'm missing. Okay, so he's quite long this thing now. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to come out, zoom out here. So what we want to do now is get if I uh, oh, a bit too far away now. There we go. Okay, if I double click that, we want to get these edges at least about three more in there. So we've got kind of five all together. That's what I found works well. So once I've double clicked it, what I'm going to do is right click on there and do insert edge. And it will automatically go halfway down. See, 0.5. So I click OK. Then I'm going to click another, click it again. Try and highlight it. Right click, repeat the insert edge. And again, halfway down. So now it's a quarter of the way down. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom and do the same again. Right click and repeat insert edge. And there we go. Halfway between the other halfway marker. So we obviously only need to do that once because you already have that halfway one there. So now we've got three there, but five all together if you create the bottom lines and the top lines or edges, should I say. Okay. So now, to start twisting this, we go to Modify, and that will bring up this menu here. So click Soft Modification, tick that, and make sure that the Linear option is highlighted here. And then what you want to do is select, double click here, so all these lines are selected, and then just drag this along, because what you want is for all of the kind of edges and points to be highlighted. So I tend to drag that pretty far until there I can see the points at the bottom and just see them coming into view now. And then I select this circular 
vertex in motion thing and basically just start revolving it oh okay that's the wrong one <laughs> um, go back okay let's try that again not that one we want to go to that one there okay so we're going to start twisting it ah and it's actually hang on I think we highlighted the wrong thing here so let's make sure this is circular or oh, good enough anyway try that again this happened to me last time I'm not sure what did it so try and modify again soft modification it's on linear we're going to drag this out let's drag it to about there okay so we haven't got the bottom one highlighted there you go we've got the lines we haven't got the points highlighted and now let's try dragging this bit here and there we are now it's twisting nicely in the center so I think maybe we don't go all the way down to the bottom when we do that and I'm just going to twist it to about there I guess a little bit more and ah, that'll do so that's 120 degrees that at the moment so I click OK and there we have it nice twisty shape and if we look at it from the top perfectly circular or perfectly straight and vertical anyway so I'm just going to click finish form and now we have this great nice shape now this that is basically how to do what you wanted to do from the other ones like um, not sure what it was SolidWorks or something like that he used but this is basically how to get it so if we'd have done the plane we could we would have had a solid object now and then we could have used the shell um, instruction and that would basically create what he wanted I want a hollow one all the way through to try so that's what is happening here probably have to print it with a raft thinking about it um, or maybe I should have used the shell then I could have just cut out the bottom if I needed to but we're going to try this we're going to see how it goes ok so I'm actually going to leave it here so I've shown you how to do this shape now I'm going to thicken this one um, with the thicken command make a copy and scale that up slightly and try it like that and then see if we can slide this one all the way through it and see how it works so I will uh, had those in another video to see if they worked but for now get making one of these and uh, let me know what they come out like so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one